Hi, my name's Claire Manning and I'm back with another crafty video for you today. So, not card making, but I still used a stamp on this project. I wanted to do some acrylic uh, painting on a canvas and then use one of our lovely designs. This is a foxglove design. Uh, it's called uh, Born Beautiful and you get loads of huge stamps and sentiments in the set. Um, but I wanted to make a nice acrylic painted background I'm not overly confident with acrylic so I thought I'd have a little bit of a play with some mixing and then I'm hoping to stamp this lovely foxglove the large image on top of it. So I've just got a 8x8 uh, very basic white canvas here, some acrylic paints in pink and white and a lovely stamps by me um, metallic acrylic paint in these lovely pinks. So I want to do five stripes so I need to mix these are the only pinks these two I had um, and I wanted five different shades, uh, some metallic, some not. So I'm going to have to do a bit of mixing as well, uh, which again I'm not always very confident at, so let's have a go. So to start off I uh, used some masking tape to mask off an area, uh, the thickness of the tape all the way around the canvas. So hopefully then uh, the stripes that I'm putting will sit in a square in the centre of the canvas and then have some white space all around it as well and give some crisp edges with that tape. Um, the next thing I need to do is just measure out my stripes. So you can do it by freehand but uh, I, I don't trust myself <laughs> to get the line straight so uh, I just measured the blank area here on the canvas. You could do this on a piece of card too or some artboard if you haven't got any canvases and of course you don't have to make this into a home decor piece this could be um, to go onto a card or other paper craft projects if you want so I've measured out five even strips just with some pencil and then I'm going to start off with this one pink slap bang in the middle because this one can be the colour neat I've just used a piece of scrap card here uh, to use as my palette and a couple of very basic brushes just with one with a kind of flat head and another one with a um, not curved what would you call it like an angled brush head um, and I'm going to use that in a little while to crisp up my edges as I go along because even with the pencil it can uh, sometimes go a bit wobbly if you haven't got the steadiest hand like me. So this first stripe in the middle, just very flat, very smooth, just the colour as it is. And then you'll see as I go along, I won't talk all the way through, I'll let you listen to some nice music, but you'll see as I go along I start mixing in uh, some of the metallics so it gives like an ombre effect and gets darker the one end and then the other end I mix in the white into this pink and that gives me all the lovely shades so I'm really happy with the stripes uh, I then went on to stamp the foxglove on top which was a little bit trickier than I thought because the canvas was too deep for my Eureka stamping tool so I had to use an, a large acrylic block and I didn't take into account the quite coarse texture of the canvas uh, so it's a little bit tricky and didn't come out quite as crisp as I liked uh, as I wanted it but it still gives a lovely effect with the large stamp on top of the stripes so I hope you like the finished project and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and gives you a bit of confidence to get your acrylics out even if you're not a seasoned painter as such you can still achieve some nice things for your house or uh, in your paper craft projects so get them out and have a play and do some colour mixing don't worry if you've only got a few colours in your stash you can still create some nice effects so enjoy the video and I will see you next time